welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And so today we are reviewing Rose Blood by A.G. Howard. And we read this on NetGalley as an e-arc. So thank you, NetGalley. All right, this is basically a retell, um, like a modernized retelling of The Phantom of the Opera. Um, takes place, current times, there's some magical things that come in. You, you know, you've got Ruin. Rune? Rune. 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 <laughs> who uh, goes to France, lives in this opera school, and there's a phantom in the school. So, woohoo. And that's, I mean, that's essentially all you really need to know about this book. <laughs> we had some problems with it. Uh, it is a very long book. It's a very long book. I, so let me preface this with the fact that I love Splintered. A.G. Howard, that, that's from A.G. Howard's first series. Her first series was incredible up until that compilation of short stories. Well, I mean, because she, she really took Alice in Wonderland, turned it on its head, and really had some great characters that you really wanted to learn more about. But she made the story her own while borrowing from somebody else's mythology. However, this series did not hit that point. I think the characters were flat. I think they weren't well developed. I didn't like the I didn't like the romance. I didn't of it. like the romance. At I thought all. it was creepy. It was creepy, and I'm sorry, but the whole book read like phantom fan fiction. Yeah. But oh, well, she wasn't sure what phantom she likes. Does she like the book? Does she like the movie? Is she doing the mythology based off the second musical? Which is just weird and felt in its own right like fangirl fan fiction. Well, I think the other thing is, the I read the original Gaston LaRue fan of the opera recently. I didn't like it. And I think because, it, I mean, it was completely different right. from the actual musical. The Phantom is, like, creepier than all Get Out. Like, right. he's the serial killer, essentially. Right. And so it didn't work for me. So I'm wondering if her book didn't work for me because the source material just wasn't there. I don't know. But, like, the other thing is, so she's adding in these mystical components to the story. And I think if you're going to drop something similar to Sparkly Vampires, you really need to develop that. Otherwise, I'm going to laugh in your face. Because that, I, like, I really was just like, <laughs> you're kidding me, right? Like, you're, you're doing this to the characters? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> and I'm supposed to be okay with this? And I'm supposed to follow you and not laugh? <laughs> I honestly read this book less than a month ago, and I can't remember big chunks of it. It did not stick. Yeah, because the characters weren't there. No. And yeah, I, I can't, I like, and I can't handle, sometimes like, you have to be really careful when you've got the faded love interests yeah. who like, when you hurt, I hurt. Ugh. I know. Like you really have to develop that. You really have to put in the time and effort instead of just because you're you and because I'm me, we have to be together. Right. When there's like no other development or anything else. Well, and, like, she relies a lot on you knowing phantom mythology. So if you've never seen the musical or never watched the movie or read the book, you're <coughs> kind of lost. Yeah, no, that is true. Some parts were kind of confusing. Um, and I've seen the musical, and I was like, okay. Well, and I also felt, though, like, there were certain things in Roseblood that she just included just because it was part of the phantom mythology that really didn't work as far as... For example, they're putting on an opera and Rune, you know, tries out for this opera. And I feel like she keeps bringing up this school performance just because it was in the original material. But I don't feel like it needed to be there at all. And I don't know if it's because <clears throat> we had an art, an e arc or what, but did you notice that it was Christina... Christine with a C, Christine with a K. It kept switching back and forth. Oh, that was very confusing. Well, it was Christine, Christina, and then all of the different C's and K's. and Right, all reply, replying, referring to the character from The Phantom. Um, plus, I know why publishers do it, and I know why authors do it, but don't print your books in funny colors. See, and I'm okay with books in funny colors. I can't read them. <laughs> I'm and okay it was with like it. that really light red. Like it was supposed to like blood, I'm assuming, but it was really hard to read. Well, actually, I think it was a reference to the blood roses or the right. fire and ice roses because the paper's white and the font is red. All I know is that I had a hard time reading it. And that was on my computer. And I have a really nice computer. I don't know. No, I'm, I was okay with that. I was okay with it. And I, I mean, like visually, the book is beautiful. I yeah. think. I think well, even the cover is beautiful. beautiful covers. Like it's it's beautiful. I just don't think that the character sold it for me. No. 
I didn't care. Like, I loved Splinter. I loved the characters. I loved the mystery. I loved the story. And this, I just was like, I just have to get this done. Well, I think the issue is my favorite character was the cat. The double oh, yeah. cat. It's like, like what because he's the weirdest. Like, he's the quirkiest kind of original character in the book. And I think that speaks volumes about this book. Yes. That my favorite character is a cat. Anyway, so I think we're ready. I think we're ready to rate at this point. So our rating system involves unicorns and horses. We can go up to five unicorns, but if we give it a one, it is only a horse because it does not deserve a horn. All right, so where are we at with you rating it? I'm gonna give. The more I talk about it, the less I like it. I'm giving it two unicorns because it wasn't horrible, and we are no longer doing halves, and I don't think it quite deserves a one. So I'm giving it a two, and I think it's because I just really want to like this book. I think that, I don't know why I'm giving it a two. I'm giving it a two. Just because A.G. Howard did, I want her to keep doing things. This just didn't work for me. It just did not work. I'm glad it's a standalone because I would not read a sequel. Oh, no. What could you even do for a sequel? I don't want to speculate. Like, no. No sequels, please. So that's where we are Um, with... Rose Blood, not Blood Rose, which is what I thought the book was called. Rose Red. <laughs> There's <laughs> roses. So, All right. bye. Adios.